Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John 34 here, bringing you guys more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, and welcome to the semifinals of the playoff games. And um, if I were to win this one, guys, I go to the Super Bowl. And also, some extra information, guys. Before this game, I ended up sending two elite badges, which pretty much gives me 150,000 coins. If you guys can see in the top right corner of your screen, I have 150,000 coins. And uh, I was thinking before this game, like when I was doing this little lineup thingy, um, I was like, should I buy Brandon Marshall? Should I? Because Brandon Marshall has been my target like for the longest time already. And um, you know, it's been like seven games already so that's since I thought about Brandon Marshall because I kept getting press coverage by some other guys on, on here on Ultimate Team. And uh, I was like, should I really get Brandon Marshall? Well, you know what? I'm just going to spend it all in off season when I win the Super Bowl. So, I should have thought twice. But anyways, no spoilers. I think Brandon Marshall should have really been in my team. Anyways, going into the gameplay, guys. Pretty much my offense did not work on this game. <laughs> no running game at all. Nothing happened with Doug Martin, except for one play, which will be shown like in the second quarter or in the third quarter, which was really exciting to see. And um, all I did in offense was pass. That's it. My running game was kind of stopped, which is kind of uh, weird, because I have 99 grind and pound, I have the players to actually run the ball, so I understand what was going wrong. So apparently I'm calling in the offensive line side protection kind of bad, so that's why it's not working. So I had to go into the plan B, which is passing, and calling the best passing plays you have, which I ended up doing, and I ended up being shut down. Back on defense, I ended up shutting this guy out, three and out, nothing was going on. He was kind of getting pressured, I understand. He was like steadily in the pocket, so I understand what was pressuring him at all. So I ended up backing off, and Jason Mars trying his best to gain some yards. Two minute warning. Back in another passing place, Cardell Patterson down the middle almost fumbles it. Actually, that play was reviewed, and it was no fumble. Right here, I messed up. I should have lobbed it instead. Actually, if I would have lobbed it, the receiver would automatically do this little glitchy five yard go ahead or something like I don't know how to explain it but he would get like some kind of a turbo boost and actually go for the pass but I didn't lob it I actually just threw us a bullet kind of a mistake right there it was a big major mistake by me back in offense Doug Martin with the Jukes taking it all the way with 60 plus yards touchdown amazing run and that's would be probably the only run of the night and you know the reason why I say that is because his defense was pretty much blitzing all the goddamn time. So that's why there was no running going on. And right here, I understand how Brandon Browner can intercept that. He's 6 foot 3 and no interception. Are you kidding me? Pretty much a bullshit call right there, man. So, anyways, another play on defense. Uh, sacked by one of my linebackers. Nice play. The guy ended up throwing under. Nothing's going on. 15 seconds to go. Doesn't do nothing. Another play. Going into this passing play. Sack by. Marcel Darius? Yeah, that was Marcel Darius. Second by Marcel Darius ends up doing a field goal 10 to 7 now. Doug Martin doing a little bit of running now. In the second half, pretty much my offensive lineman and the blocking was waking up. As you can see, here comes another counter. Doug Martin juking the shit out of this guy, breaking tackles, trying his best to win the game, carrying the team on his shoulders. 98 yards in total. Back on offense, Demarius Thomas does an incredible catch. I think he wouldn't have caught that if I would have had another receiver. X wide open on top, but I ended up throwing it on the under bottom. I don't know why I did that. I mean, I was kind of in a hurry, so yeah. Anyways, if I wouldn't have done that, this wouldn't have happened. Jason Morrow takes it for a touchdown after a nice juke. So um, I'm guessing it came off towards the better, you know. Back on defense, Andrew Luck trying his best to uh, find something. Nothing's going on. Jadavion Clowney with a nice sack right there. Um, fourth and 19. Can he convert? And no, god damn it, Mike Adams, that was your ball. Anyways, good thing it was not an interception because I'm close to the, to the goal line. Uh, fumble by Marshall Lynch, and this is this gave me a reason why I wouldn't have run the next play. Now watch this. I ended up running a bunch. This guy ends up blitzing six guys, force a fumble for, by Ryan Tannehill, and um, he recovers the ball. There was at least four players on top of the goddamn ball, and they can't get it. I hate the fucking, you know, that fairness of gameplay, man. But anyways, it happened, so he, this guy ended up recovering the ball. Two minutes to go, 10-14, to 
catches the ball down the middle. Pretty much this guy's creating his own highlight reel on offense now, uh, getting the advantage. This would have happened if the score was like 17 to 10 anyway, so the score would have been tied. So back in the offense, I was like, you know what? I'm trying to best. This guy was like blitzing all over the goddamn place. That's why it was like second and 10, and I forced the pass right there, interception in that scheme. That is game 55 seconds to go. This guy does a field goal. I mean, this game. It's game over. So I screwed up twice, and um, my clutch last minute gameplay didn't happen. Um, the reason why is because he kept blitzing five, and there was like nobody open half of the time. And I was like, shit, what am I supposed to do in offense? So this brings me up a question like, I think I should hire more better tight ends that can actually block. Mercedes Lewis is currently in the auctions for 30000 and uh, Vernon Davis is another guy who can actually run block. If I were to have those, my single back formation could be unstoppable on the run. So, I don't know, my next year target is going to be the tight end and everything, so I'll explain that on my defensive pickups and my offensive pickups. Well, this is the, the end of the, of the, you know, of season three. Hello season. Too bad it ended like this, so damn.